Today, you'll discover seven supplements backed by science that significantly reduce the risk of both diabetes and heart disease. Plus, we'll reveal the best natural food sources for these powerful nutrients, as well as key safety considerations before you start supplementation. First up, magnesium is crucial for glucose control. It also helps to keep your heartbeat in rhythm, regulates stress hormones, promotes deeper sleep, and more. Unfortunately, an estimated 57% of adults don't get enough magnesium, making it one of the most common deficiencies. As we age, our bodies become less able to absorb magnesium, making deficiency even more likely. Additionally, medications like diuretics, proton pump inhibitors, and antibiotics can interfere with absorption. With that in mind, it's vital to make sure you're getting plenty of magnesium. Muscle cramps, fatigue, high blood pressure, and irregular heartbeat are all common symptoms. To boost your magnesium naturally, some of the best sources are leafy greens, nuts, and seeds, especially almonds, pumpkin seeds, and flaxseed, as well as dark chocolate. Most fruits and vegetables contain magnesium, but it's best to opt for quality organic produce because chemical pesticides and depleted soil can lead to low magnesium in modern foods. Topping up with magnesium supplement can help, but choose the right type. Some forms, like magnesium oxide, can cause diarrhea and stomach upset. Magnesium glycinate is generally a better choice. It's easily absorbed and tends to be more gentle on the stomach. Magnesium supplements are well tolerated by most people. But as always, talk to a trusted professional first. That's particularly important if you have serious kidney issues, since magnesium can accumulate to unsafe levels if your kidneys aren't working properly. At number six, we have turmeric. Turmeric is celebrated for its anti-inflammatory properties, largely thanks to its active compound curcumin. In a 2012 trial, people with prediabetes took either curcumin or a placebo for nine months. By the end, the curcumin group showed significant improvement in insulin resistance and lower progression to type 2 diabetes. Other studies show that curcumin improves endothelial function, a major factor for hypertension. However, caution is advised. High doses, such as those found in 2,000 mg supplement capsules, can interfere with iron absorption. To put this in perspective, a 2,000 mg supplement provides about 20 times more curcumin than you'd get from a teaspoon of turmeric used as a spice. This is particularly concerning if you have low iron or anemia. Essentially, it's a supplement that can have enormous benefits, but can also have unintended side effects. Using turmeric in cooking is a safer way to enjoy its benefits without the risks associated with high-dose supplements. Combine it with black pepper, which has been shown to significantly improve curcumin absorption. If you're going to try a turmeric supplement, consider getting your iron levels tested. Our next two work together. Number five, vitamin D. Vitamin D regulates calcium and phosphate, essential for healthy bones and teeth. It supports your immune system and is key for keeping infections at bay. For those with diabetes, vitamin D is even more critical. It helps regulate insulin production in the pancreas and improves insulin sensitivity. However, vitamin D is complex. A John Hopkins University study found that while vitamin D supplementation can help if you're deficient, excess can be harmful. Supplementing beyond 21 nanograms per milliliter increased C-reactive protein, a key marker of inflammation associated with hardened blood vessels and elevated heart attack risk. This study underscores the importance of balance in vitamin D levels. Excessive supplementation, especially without medical supervision, can lead to unintended consequences. 
The healthiest approach combines sunlight exposure, diet, and if necessary, supplementation under medical guidance. Sun exposure is the most effective way to boost vitamin D levels. Aim for about 5 to 30 minutes of midday sun several times a week, depending on your skin type and location. Dietary sources include fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines, as well as pasture-raised eggs. Mushrooms and fortified plant-based milks contain lower levels but are useful for those who don't eat animal products. At number four, vitamin K2 is one of the most important for keeping your arteries clear. Vitamin K2 plays a crucial role in cardiovascular and bone health. It activates proteins that move calcium from your arteries into your bones, where it's needed. Without sufficient K2, calcium can accumulate in your arteries, leading to plaque buildup and increasing the risk of heart attack. Essentially, K2 helps to ensure calcium is deposited in the right places, promoting bone health and preventing arterial calcification. Diabetes exacerbates this risk. High blood sugar levels damage blood vessels and accelerate arterial calcification. K2 helps counteract this by facilitating proper calcium use. Unfortunately, vitamin K2 is not common in the modern diet. The richest sources are organ meats, such as liver or kidneys, so if you like them, fantastic! Otherwise, aged cheese, pasture-raised eggs, and grass-fed beef are decent options. Pasture-raised eggs and grass-fed beef are higher in K2 because the animals are allowed to graze on natural food, which converts into K2. If you're not consuming these foods regularly, supplementation may help. Vitamin K2 supplements are generally considered safe, but as with any supplement, it's best to consult a healthcare professional before adding it to your routine, especially if you're on blood thinning medications. Is this useful? Please click the like button, click subscribe, and turn notifications on to see more videos as we release them. Next, we've got one that you won't find in food, berberine. Berberine is a powerful plant compound known for its ability to improve insulin sensitivity and regulate blood sugar. In a breakthrough study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, scientists found that daily berberine supplementation led to a whopping 20% reduction in fasting glucose after just three months. That's a massive improvement for anyone struggling with type 2 diabetes. Additionally, berberine supports heart health by improving cholesterol function. One unique aspect of berberine is its ability to activate an enzyme called AMPK, often referred to as the metabolic master switch. AMPK plays a key role in regulating metabolism and improves glucose uptake in cells. A recommended dose is around 500 milligrams, taken two to three times a day before meals. But as always, consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement, especially if you're taking medication. At number two, we have one of the most important compounds for your heart muscle, coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10, or CoQ10 for short, is a powerful antioxidant that your body naturally produces. It's essential for energy production in your cells, particularly in your heart. As we age, our natural CoQ10 levels decline. What's more, certain medications like statins for cholesterol can further deplete CoQ10 levels. Research shows that CoQ10 supplementation can significantly benefit heart health. It's been found to reduce the risk of repeat heart attacks and improve outcomes in heart failure patients. For those with diabetes, CoQ10 offers a double advantage. It may help improve insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar levels while also protecting against the oxidative stress that often accompanies diabetes. You can boost your CoQ10 levels by consuming organ meats, fatty fish, and whole grains. However, it's challenging to get therapeutic amounts from food alone. 
If you're considering a CoQ10 supplement, look for the ubiquinol form, which is more easily absorbed. A typical dose ranges from 100 to 200 milligrams per day. And at number one, we have the superstar anti-inflammatory compound, omega-3. Omega-3 is crucial for your heart, brain, and overall metabolic function. It reduces triglyceride levels, lowers blood pressure, improves blood vessel function, improves insulin sensitivity, and is a key source material for the retina in your eyes. Consider that insulin resistance is a major driver of blindness. Omega-3 is vital. In a study published in the journal Nature, higher omega-3 was associated with significantly improved insulin sensitivity. Similarly, a 2016 study found that heart attack risk reduced by 15% with omega-3 supplementation. The best sources of omega-3s are fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines. Plant-based options include flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. If you're going to take a supplement, it's important to think carefully about your source. Fish oil capsules are the most popular. However, recent investigations found that up to 20% of fish oil capsules were oxidized. Fish oil easily oxidizes when exposed to oxygen, light, and heat. So unless you have a trusted supplier, the risk is high. Algal oil or krill oil tend to be safer supplement options. Krill oil contains the antioxidant astaxanthin, which protects against oxidation. However, as krill oil has become more popular, new concerns are coming up about the impact of overfishing and environmental destruction in Antarctic oceans. In our opinion, algal oil comes out on top. It provides a more stable source of omega-3s and doesn't cause the same level of environmental destruction. Remember, supplements can help, but they can come with serious side effects. For more natural ways to get an outsized health boost, watch our video on nine incredible teas that lower blood sugar. Or you might like to learn about the best spices to combat insulin resistance.